Hello guys and welcome to my Rideshare channel. My name is Serge and in today's video I'm basically stopping my work even though I literally have uh, two hours of drive time left. Uh, let's see. There it is, pretty much hour and 36 minutes left over. Um, I'm not gonna drive uh, and then right now I'm actually driving home. It's gonna take me like one hour, 17 minutes to make it home. Because for me to work out of Charlotte, it literally takes me one hour to make it to Charlotte, just so I could work. And uh, of course you never know where you're gonna end up. So this time I end up all the way in Kannapolis. So here's what I did guys. And I just kind of want to point out, and I'm sorry I wasn't able to record that for you because that would have been interesting to see, just kind of like what's going on. Because I had a phone call and that's why it really destroyed my video. Uh, it stopped it where it stopped it basically but what was happening guys i said destination mode they were offering me garbage like seriously four dollars for 22 minutes seven dollars for 36 minutes like eight dollars for 42 minutes of my time i'm like are, are you kidding me right now and i think the reason they're offering me like this trash just trash just because they know I'm trying to make it to Charlotte and they probably think I will take any kind of trash just to make it there. So the destination mode, I think ultimately is designed to screw you over. It's like, unless you really, really tight on the budget and like you really gotta make sure you're gonna get paid going there, probably not a good idea to turn it on. It's be much better, better luck driving in the actual direction where you want to work and just stay there versus it's gonna take you slightly a little bit to the left a little bit to the right and then you will get to your destination actually in longer time when you could have just went straight shot and made it to where you're going so ultimately i'm thinking okay i'm not gonna continue working the other two hours that's it I'm done with it. I'm just going to go home. It's already 9.41. I've been working since basically 6.30 in the morning. Uh, not always locked in, but that's already a long day. So um, just going to make it home, go to sleep, start back in the morning. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Looking forward to uh, making some more video guys uh, for you guys tomorrow. <clears throat> and uh, I guess we'll see. What, what's gonna happen uh, because this is kind of like a test I want to see what's gonna happen if I keep not accepting rides will I use will, will I lose diamond status or worse will they just kick me off the platform because if I lose diamond status it is their little perk I suppose they don't have to give me their perks if I don't deserve them but when it comes time time to make a decision in me taking certain trips and if they're not worth my while and if they kick me off the platform for not accepting those trips that don't make no sense now that is what i'm what i'm gonna say that's not gonna be fair because if you follow all the rules you do everything you're supposed to and you just decide to make business decision as a contractor and they kick you off the platform for do, making a decision that makes sense for your business that's going to be probably not only that it's messed up it's going to be probably outright illegal because technically we're treated as contractors with no guarantee and if you take the decision making part away from us then we're no longer contractors we're just basically like not even employees i don't even know who we are maybe like laborist or something we technically would not have any kind of like no rights basically of any kind there's gonna be nothing that that comes with employment like like nothing no health care no nothing no benefits no retirement no nothing so as a contractor at least you're in control of how much money you make and when do you have to work and you set your own hours you set your own rates make a decision what do you want and what you don't want and it sucks if someone's going to manipulate you into making you feel as if you have to take what they give you. Because you don't have to take what they give you. You're a contractor. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.